upset. I think I've told you guys before. I've told friends this before. I think nowadays, especially with um, a lot of people kind of realizing that maybe their dreams or maybe their aspirations aren't going to go the way they want them to go, or maybe they're just kind of giving up and they're not really bothered about chasing them. If you're going to have a career, at least pick something that's within your skill set um is um is comfortable enough for you to do day to day and still challenges you right it's a very hard combination to find but if you can find those kind of things and it happens to be you know no more than 40 minutes away from where you live it 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 tends to pay you roughly about what you're worth whether it's whether it's how you whether you scale yourself via your age whether you scale yourself via your in um experience whether you speak to your friends openly about salary if you've got all those things in mind then by and large um work should kind of aid um and abate and abate, aid and abate, yeah, aid and abate your kind of lifestyle day to day. It shouldn't kind of pull you back. It shouldn't um, make you uh, less social. It shouldn't kind of make you more tired. It shouldn't, you know, curtail your plans that you want to do, going on holiday or whatever maybe. It should just allow you to do those things more often than not. And if you've kind of, and I think the the kind of um, representation, I think, of it, which is quite st- startling or quite striking to me, especially when I was working in jobs that were, that were completely garbage, was when you'd see people um, taking their luggage to work, right? On the Thursday or Friday, usually, because they wanted to squeeze out that extra day if they were going on a trip somewhere. Especially if you are going somewhere like Barcelona, or you're going somewhere like Berlin or Madrid or Paris, right? Which is only kind of, and Amsterdam, which is only kind of like in a two-hour window from London. You can maybe squeeze out an extra day without taking a holiday from work and leave maybe, you know, mid-afternoon. And those jobs, usually in my head, I had this dream of like thinking, oh man, those jobs are amazing because it means that you can leave, you know, early on that day and go on your holiday. You don't need to book a trip. You don't need to, you know, negotiate or sit down with your manager and have this big protracted meeting that's made you make you feel awkward. You can just put in a request for holiday and just go. Um, so that's the kind of goal you need to achieve. And I guess for me, doing the DJing and um, doing the podcast and hopefully getting back to my writing and doing more of my writing on my blog and reading a lot and just working out and just generally trying to be, you know, um, a kind of mo- modern day renaissance man. I do need a job that kind of is going to facilitate those things for me. Like, you know, when I'm at my work, I'm trying, I try and concentrate solely on the work and try and get that done. But when I'm outside of work, I don't want to think about it at all. I, you know, and now I'm really, really thankful that I'm in a place where I can just leave my laptop at home. I mean, leave a laptop at work. I don't need to take it home with me. I don't need to come, you know, I don't need to come in super early. I don't need to leave super late. It's just a really basic and easy place to go to where I can just kind of do my best work and keep those things moving. And that's the, that's all you basically want you just want somewhere where you can go and do your work do the best that you can do within that space and then once it's time to go home you go home and you completely switch off and i think that's where most people especially within our age or my age range um who kind of grew up with you know aspirations of doing other things and maybe it hasn't worked out i think you know the best thing to do in life is or the most admirable thing to do is to kind of admit where you kind of have fallen short where maybe it might not work out into you in certain regards because you know every, no, no one likes that guy that's still trying to pump his you know his mixtapes and he's complete garbage. He has no um what's that word called um self awareness, which is quite hard to get. You know I'm not gonna lie. Um I'm no I'm no one to tell somebody you shouldn't pursue your dreams, but you know pursue your dreams, but also make sure you earn a good living, right? So you can sustain yourself and you can you know partake in the fruits of this great country or great city or wherever you are um, living, you know, because there are as bleak as people try and make uh, things to be, you know, it's quite, we're living in quite great times and we've all got these amazing smartphones in our pockets. We all have access to pretty cheap flights. Um, we all have access to, or there is a prevalence of, you know, um, a proliferation of kind of festivals popping up all over the place, nightclubs, bars, restaurants. Um, you can buy clothes for, you know, next to nothing. Um, it's good times, living in good times. So try and enjoy as much as you can. So that's what I've been doing.